So in this video, I wanted to show you a fun way to decorate a fireplace for Christmas. So I already have my mantle garland hung and lit with some incandescent clear Christmas lights. Because I didn't want to have to put nails into this mantle, I actually have the wreath up resting on top of a candlestick holder that's kind of a color that blends in with the fireplace mantle. And by the time I add the floral to it, I'm hoping that it will almost not be seen at all. I do have a few command hooks behind on the mirror holding the wreath in place. So this candlestick really is just to help with the weight so that um, not all the weight is on the command hooks. You'll notice that I have two different types of artificial greenery, but that will be okay in the end because I am going to add a lot of um, floral into these garlands that will make them match each other. So for this garland, I thought it would be fun this year to do a cascading look. And so I'm going to add a few pieces of artificial garland, and these will just be used as a base to add floral ornaments and the other embellishments to. And then I'm just going to simply adjust some of these extra lights to go down into these little garland pieces. So next I'm going to start adding in some artificial pine. So basically I'm just going to poke these into the garland. Now I do have a variety of different pine floral, so I'm going to make sure that all of the pine floral is evenly spread out through the garland and also this wreath. So here I have mostly the one type of greenery added. So as you can see, I pretty much have it evenly spaced throughout. There's a few places that are a little heavier than others, and that's done a little bit on purpose. For one, this type of floral covers better, so I'm using it stronger in areas where I want to kind of blend all of this together. So next I'm just going to continue adding the different pine floral one type at a time. So now that I have most of the greenery in the garland, I'm going to add some of these light colored blue um, shatterproof ornaments using ornament hooks. And I chose green ornament hooks just so that they blended into the garland better. So next I'm going to add some of these hunter green glass ornaments. So next I'm going to add some gold shatterproof ornaments. So the next thing I'm going to add is some ribbon. So I'm just going to make a loop, increase it, make a loop, increase it, and one more. So these are just going to have three loops. So they'll be kind of more simple bows than what I did last year on the fireplace. So the next thing I'm going to do is fold the little ends upward, like so, and then I'm going to use some wire, scrunch this, and unwrap some wire around to hold this. And then I'm just going to prune this tail off, but I am going to leave the tails on these a little bit longer. Then I'm just going to place this into the garland. Now don't worry if your bow doesn't hold its shape while you're working it into the garland because you can always fluff it later. So once the bow's added, I'm just going to fluff the ribbon just a little bit. And then I like to kind of twist these ends like so, so that they have just a hint of curl to them. So I'm just going to make the rest of the bows and add them to the garland. So I have these frosty fern leaves that I thought would be fun to add. So next I'm going to add some of these gold glitter floral picks. And then I'm going to add some of these glittery sprigs. So 
So the next thing I'm going to add are some of these light blue glitter berries. And then I'm going to add just a few sprigs of frosty eucalyptus. And then I'm just going to add some of these small glitter shatterproof ornaments. 